above all other gods Tonight we lay our crowns and worship Him Lift your voice and sing tonight, say Oh, Let Him hear your voice, come on Jesus' name becomes supreme. 
Welcome to the moment of refreshing and it absolutely glad us how to connect with you right now. This is the day that the Lord had made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Do you know of any family member, friend? Do you know of any colleague who is dealing with what we call negative patterns? Gets a job today, few months into the job, a year into the job, loses the job has an opportunity to be promoted once and again for some strange reasons, loses the opportunity. Uh, the person always gets into one trouble or the other. Some pattern of hatred in the office. Do you, do you have someone who is an entrepreneur who has this pattern of constantly falling into the hands of individuals who lead the entrepreneur into investing in the wrong places and ultimately losing his or investment. Is a recurring decimal in this entrepreneur's life. Not just to normally lose money as entrepreneurs sometimes may. But this is becoming of a great concern. The sequence, the order and the pattern with which it happens. If you know such a person, quickly invite them right now. Do you know of a young lady who always has this great attraction power from men men always want to come and after the same sequence you find the same situation happen over and over again whereby this man at some points very serious and then at some point you just suddenly they just turn their back on this lady and never even want to talk with her again do you know someone who is even taking it up to the point of introduction and engagement and for some strange and mysterious reasons now that person is no longer in relationship and it's a part and it drop it has happened over and over again do, do you have a married woman a married man who is having a negative occurrence of evil going on in the marriage between herself and her husband himself and his wife or within the marriage in itself what i want to let you know that patterns have become a very potent tool in the hands of the adversary and he is now using pardons to destroy christians more than he is using curses the adversary is aware now that christians are so alert to the issue of curses and so in order to keep himself in operation in a stealth mode the adversary is no longer interested in focusing on curses so the adversary is now using pardons negative occurrences that just repeat themselves over and over again it can happen to you in the ministry if you study you see the pattern and let me say this you are sometimes focused on the problem when you need to focus on the pattern that creates the problem and until you deal with the pattern that creates the problem you will only be trying to kill the tree by cutting the branch the reason why there is there are fruits and leaves on a tree is because there is something called a root pattern if you deal with the root then you will be dealing with the leaves and the fruits it's a matter of time you're an entertainer you are in the entertainment industry and for some reasons you always have this pattern of losing opportunities you are someone who is in government. You always have this opportunity. You always have opportunities and privileges. But somehow, you also have this repeated pattern of losing out with your superiors as a result of which privileges and opportunities are never translated into realities. It cuts across. If you are insensitive to patterns, you will be dominated by problems. Can I say that again? If you are insensitive to patterns, your life will be dominated by problems. Because problems are driven, created, informed, strengthened, sustained by patterns. Those who look out for the patterns always see the reasons for the problems. And they are better positioned to deal with them than those who focus on the problem and never look at the pattern. 
There's someone watching me right now. There is a pattern to the miscarriage. There is a pattern to the miscarriage you experience all the time. This is our year to flourish. We cannot allow patterns to continue. Otherwise, patterns have a way of hindering you from enjoying a flourishing life and career. Patterns have a way of stopping you from even beginning to flourish. The prevalence of patterns, negative patterns, the prevalence of negative patterns have the power to stop an individual from stepping into a flourishing season in his or her life. It is therefore critical that we give patterns no space at all. This is not the time to allow any pattern to thrive or thrive in your life. Someone says, Pastor Sam, you're talking to me. If I'm talking to you already, just let me know and say, Reverend Sam, you're speaking to me. And I want you to invite your family members and friends. This is the time to invite someone you know that is dealing with what I'm talking about because I want to pray with you today. If you have a family member, you have a friend, who is dealing with the kind of patterns that I've talked about. Sickness. Every time when it looks like this is going to be a great year for you. The adversary has mastered the use of sickness as a distraction. Such that rather than pursue your life's goals and vision. You spend the entire year dealing with distraction in form of sickness. Someone knows I'm talking with you. There's someone watching me every time you have a big goal before you. Every time you have a great year before you. The adversary uses offenses. People outside offending you. Family members offending you. You take offense even when there is no offense. You just get offended. And you allow offense to, to uh, you know, continue to prevail until you lose your opportunity to prosper to grow, to thrive. You just have a way of allowing yourself to actually accommodate offense and justify the reason why the offense should prevail until you lose opportunities. The adversary has a way of making you see reasons to be offended at your helpers, to be offended at those who can guide you. And the adversary justifies the offense so that you can feel the pain. I'm going to say that again. The adversary makes you to see why that offense is a painful thing. Justifies it so that the pain can increase. Someone is saying, Reverend Sam, you're talking to me. Oh my goodness. Emma said, I am the one, Dr. Sam. This just happened yesterday with my cousin. Bridget said, I'm the one. Renate said, I'm the one. I can see all of you just saying, I'm the one. Glory be to God Almighty. It comes to an end today. People have sent in their goals and their prayer requests. It's time for you to send your goals for 2024. We just want to join faith with you to pray. It is our custom every year. To make sure we spend time praying with people. To accomplish the goals that God has set before them. So I'd like you to quickly go ahead and send in your goals. Details on how you can send it is on the screen now. We want to pray with you. As many have sent in their goals. Would you be kind enough to start sharing the video now. Before I get to start ministering to you. Moji Sola we're praying with you from Lagos. You want us to pray for the Lord to restore your marriage and to deliver your husband from all forms of spiritual manipulations. Yes. Uh, you also want God to give you a job that pays $5,000 per month here in Nigeria. We join faith with you in prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we have someone sending us unique, sending us a prayer requests all the way from Window Heck. I think that should be in Germany. And uh, we're joining you to pray for God's favor and mercy over your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're joining you in prayer. We have Yeji Day all the way from the United Kingdom. 
we're joining faith with you in the name of Jesus Christ. And we're decreeing that your spiritual life will be revived this year early enough according to your request. The requests are coming in. People are setting in their goals for the year like never before. Make sure you send in your goals so we can pray with you. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless every one of us who is sharing right now. Now listen, this is a year to flourish and to thrive. God wants you to flourish and God wants you to thrive this year. God wants your life to be a flourishing life. And God wants your life to be a thriving year, This your thriving life this year. That is the desire of the Almighty God. He wants you to blossom in the time of adversity. He wants you to bloom in the midst of adversarial conditions. God wants you to keep advancing and breaking limits this year. No stopping to your progress. God wants it to be harvest, meeting with harvest and money, meeting with money in your hands. God wants it to be a year in which you never run short of great ideas and concepts and solutions. God wants it to be a very productive year for you. That whilst others are saying otherwise, you will be saying this is a glorious year for you. Because the Lord has desired that this will be the year in which he will advertise his lovers. This is the year in which God wants his own lovers to flourish. This is a year in which God wants those who truly love him to thrive. And I know you're one of his lovers. I know you love the Lord. And so God wants to showcase you this year. God wants to find a way to answer everyone who has been asking the question, where is your God? Everyone who has been thinking that without their cartel and their mafia network, everyone who has been thinking without them, that you can't rise. God is about to show them this year that he is the almighty God, the author and the finisher of our faith. God is about to show men this year that he is the one that lifts up the poor from the dunghill and causes them to stand with the priests of his people. He is the one that picks up the pauper and causes the pauper to sit on royal seats of honor. God is about to prove again that he is the God who can turn five loaves and two fish. He can turn all of that into something extraordinary. This is a year to flourish. This is a year to thrive. The only way to think this year is to think flourishing and to think thriving. There will be moments when you will be met with obstacles. But don't forget, obstacles are the reasons why progress are inevitable. Meaning, when you meet with challenges, remember they only come to increase the strength of your testimony. Goliath's presence is not to make David irrelevant. Goliath's presence is not to make David to coward out. Goliath's presence only came to increase the strength of David's testimony. See, David had killed lions and bears. It made no news. But when David killed Goliath, it made news overnight. Don't allow the obstacle size to make you shrink from advancing towards it. Whilst everybody was running away from Goliath, David ran towards Goliath. This is not the year to shrink back. This is a year to trudge through and advance against whatever is considered to be an obstacle. Again, don't forget, no matter how big, no matter how strong the situation may be, mountains are bound to move. That's why if any man shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, you shall see what you say this is not the year to run away from challenges this is the year to face them and turn them to stepping stones this is a year to say lord whatever you bring my way you will strengthen and empower me to overcome them there will be no thriving if there are no oppositions and I want you to get ready because this year, 
God is going to make news with your life. God is going to make news with your life. Every time you're looking at the challenge before you, remember God has conquered it before it came your way. Can I say that again? Every time you see a challenge before you, remember that God had conquered it before he allowed it to come your way. There is no temptation that has come before you that is not common to man. And the Bible says, with the temptation, God has already made a way of escape. So as you are looking at the temptation, the trial that is before you, remember God has made a way of escape. When David saw Goliath and everything looked like he was armored, David by faith was able to see the way of knocking him down. And with a little sling, David was able to pull down what the military might of a nation was unable to deal with. Let me say this. I sense in my spirit. There's someone watching me right now. I sense in my spirit that God is about to give you an organization, a city, institution, nation shifting solution. I don't know who you are. But I see God birthing into your mind solutions that will change the nation. Solutions that will change sectors of economy. Solutions that will change organizations. Solutions that will change institutions. I don't know who you are, but if you are the kind of person who has been believing God for such, just type and declare, I receive it. I'm the one you're talking to. God is about to give you concepts. God is about to give you products. God is about to give you a new approach to rendering service that will change communities, change cities, change organizations, institutions, and nations. Like David, God is about to give you the solution to a nation's problem. The security of the nation was being totally wasted, destroyed, rendered useless. But there was a young man who never went to a military school. And God gave him the solution in his pouch. Isn't it amazing to know that the person with the solution to the nation's security problem was a young man and the solution was unconventional. He had the solution in his pouch. And God created the platform for him to showcase his solution. I'm hearing in my spirit, God is going to create the platform for your solution to be recognized, appreciated in Jesus' name. Oh, I see those of you saying, Reverend Sam, I'm the one you're talking to. There's someone watching me right now. I see God giving you a book. That will solve problems for singles. Uh, God has given you a book. That will answer the questions of singles. And open doors of marriages for them. And you will become a celebrated person. I, I don't know who you are. But the Lord is saying I shall tell you. There is a book. God has given to you. There is someone watching me. God has given you a song. That will bring hope to many. And it's going to be global. Glory be to God. Would you go ahead and begin to share? There are a few reasons why people who are destined to flourish don't ultimately flourish. There are a few reasons why individuals with the potential to flourish and thrive, there are some secret reasons why they don't end up thriving and flourishing. There are reasons why individuals who were once flourishing, once thriving, are no longer thriving and flourishing. I want to share that with you. I want to show you why many who used to flourish, who used to thrive, don't thrive again. There's someone watching me. It seems this is your season of blooming and blossoming. It's like everything is happening correctly around you. Let me quickly say this. It is my prayer that you will blossom for a long time. 
that you will blossom and bloom for a long time. I hate to see you blossom for a short time and disappear overnight. And one of the reasons why people blossom but not for a long time is because of a prevailing negative mindset left unaddressed. I'm going to say that again. When you allow negative mindsets to prevail in you, a negative view of yourself, a negative view of your future, you are sitting in a good office, but something is telling you it will soon come to an end. Who am I talking to? You are beginning to make money and something is telling you this thing will soon come to an end. And you have gradually begun to say to yourself, that's how my father too started. And after a while, he lost everything. You are gradually beginning to accommodate such negative view to life. I came to let you know that yours is not a flash in a pan. I came to let you know that what God is doing in your life will last. Because the Lord said, you are flourishing not like your father. You are flourishing not like your predecessors. You are flourishing like a palm tree. This is not a vegetable prosperity, flourishing or thriving. This is is a palm tree flourishing it will be for a lifetime and it will go from strength to strength and from glory to glory you will go from strength to strength and from glory to glory if you are the one i'm talking to just simply type this will last what god is doing in your life this will last what God has started doing in, your, in the life of your husband, this will last. What God is doing in the lives of your children, this will last. Just go ahead and type and declare this will last. The favor you are enjoying now, it will not come to an end. This will last. In fact, the individuals that God is using to favor you will come and go. But the favor of God on your life will continue to grow. Can I say that again? Those that God is using to favor you may come and go. They may come in seasons and go. But here's the word of the Lord over your life. The favor of God on your life will continue to grow. Daniel, in the time of Daniel, God granted him favor with the first king. That king came, that king died, that king left. And God continued to grant Daniel favor with succeeding kings. One king comes and goes, but the favor of God continues to grow. The channels of favor may leave your life but the source of favor will never leave you i see someone typing this will last this this is this is a palm tree season in your life and palm trees were made to know palm trees sometimes live for as long as 90 to 100 years this flourishing season you have entered will only go from glory to glory from strength to strength, it will only go from greater to greater, from peak to peak. One of the reasons why people don't get to enjoy sustained period of flourishing and thriving is not because of external attack. One of the reasons why people don't get to start flourishing and thriving is not so much because of curses or witches. One of the reasons why people at the top end up falling is not because of external attack. 
it is usually because of prevailing negative mindset listen to what job said job said the things that i feared has happened to me a negative mindset that he allowed job had always been afraid one day his children will die one day his business will go one day everything will go down that was even the reason why he kept on giving sacrifices and all of that the sacrifices were not by revelation they were not born out of faith they were born out of fear fear drove his prayer and job said the things that i fear has happened to me someone needs to deal with what you are afraid of internally because what you dwell on in your mind you will see in your lifetime one of my mentors in the area of faith his name is charles caps Charles Cobb said, most of the things that people get to experience negatively in their lifetime are things they have meditated on. So sometimes you will hear people saying, I knew this, I saw, I had known this was going to happen. Glory be. Uh, yeah, someone is writing that down. Listen, the channels of favor may change. But the source of favor will remain the same in your life. And whilst those that God used to favor you may come and go, the favor of God will continue to grow in your life. Keep your eyes on the source of favor, not on the channels. Appreciate the channels whilst they last. But make sure the source remains your object of worship never stop worshiping god who is your source of favor and never fail to appreciate the man who yielded himself to be used by god to bring you favor appreciate them appreciate him appreciate her and worship the god who moves men on your behalf never let god feel that the channel of favor is now being worshipped more than the source of favor a businessman said pastor i feel so bad i said why he said i got a contract that god gave me and he said and i took millions to go and appreciate the man that god used and he said, Pastor, I'm not even sure I gave my own God, who is the source. I never gave a thanksgiving offering or a tithe that is up to a million. He said, Pastor, now doors have been shut and the Lord reminded him and said, you have turned the channels into the source. You have honored the channels more than you honor the source. And that's why the doors are closed. Channels are no longer willing to help you because the source is no longer moving their hearts. And there are so many business people in this situation. When it comes to appreciating the channels that God used, you give them millions. You buy them cars. You buy them all houses and all of that. And the God who moved their heart is the least recipient of your gratitude. Now you wonder why doors are no longer opened. Because of how you treat the source. I see someone saying, Lord, I am sorry. <laughs> someone is saying, Lord, I am sorry. It is me you're talking to. It's a new season. Don't feel bad. The reason you're learning this now is so there can be a change this year. This is a year to honor the source above the channels. If you lose channels, the source will open new ones but if you lose the source the channels can be of no help he is the father of all spirits so he manipulates the spirits of men to answer to his will he is still sovereign 
although he gave us the power of will he can still decide what we become because he's still sovereign oh you are not the only one i see a lot of us saying i'm sorry lord i'm sorry lord i've seen people buy cars for the person the channel that god used but never buys a boss for their church somebody prayed and fasted for you prophesied over your life god was the one that put the grace on you and when the job came you took peanut to god and to those who prayed for you and then you took so much and you get to the channel now there's nothing wrong honoring channel never forget the source and the source deserves much more than the channel god because you will always need the source Oh, I see someone saying, Lord, I repent for my ignorance. God bless you. No condemnation. One of the reasons people don't flourish, one of the reasons people don't thrive is because of a negative mindset. But today, I want to take it to the next level. Everybody, I want you to listen carefully. You will need to watch this video again and again. From everything I'm saying, you can tell that you need to watch this again and again. You need to send this to young entrepreneurs. You need to send this to your business partners, your brothers and sisters. You need to send this video to them. So that this will be a flourishing year for them. One of the major reasons why people don't flourish and don't thrive. One of the major reasons why those who are flourishing and thriving eventually come down is because of unresolved negative patterns. Unresolved negative patterns. Unresolved evil patterns. The adversary has become so smart. It said the church is very aggressive towards martyrs like curses so the church likes to break curses and the adversary is a coward so he said look i don't want too much of the attack i'm getting from the church because of this curses matter he said but there's something i can do that produces similar effects like a curse the purpose of a curse is to ensure that you are weakened you are brought down. You never rise. You never amount to anything. Curses are injurious words that have been released to ensure that an individual, a family, a bloodline never go further, never rise higher, and never become so much. So curses are released to limit your growth, advancements, and progress. The adversary knows now that curses are issues that are very sensitive. So Christians are on the alert. So what the adversary has decided to do is to operate through what we call patterns. And that's been on for years in a very silent way. So families, you can't curse. You can use patterns to destroy. So if I can't release a curse on them, I can use patterns and sequences. I can use that and create repetitive events that eventually weakens them and it ultimately destroys them. What is a pattern? Please take note of this. A pattern is an order or design or a prototype. A pattern is an order, a design, or a prototype. For those of you that go to mass housing estates, when you are entering during the time when they want to start the estate, there is this particular house that they build usually at the entrance, which is to serve as which is going to serve as a prototype for the rest. Meaning, this house you are looking at every other house you're going to be seeing will be like this the implication is no matter what you want you can't have here 
because there is in an order there is a prototype that has been set in motion and it puts a limitation to your imagination on this land you can't build what you want because there is a pattern set in motion and what patterns do is that they limit the expression of your imagination they limit the expression of your potentials because once a pattern is set in motion imaginations are limited regulated in terms of expression so when you get into the estate they are simply saying to you what you are seeing here you will see again and again street after street this is what you will keep seeing crescent after crescent avenue after avenue this that we showed you is what you will keep seeing locations may change but this is what you keep seeing this is how patterns operate patterns are recurring reoccurring recurring predictable arrangement of sequences elements and objects so when you talk about the reoccurring of sequences the reoccurring of elements and objects we're talking about patterns they are predictable what you see here you can predict is what you will see there what you see in this one you will see in that one there are positive patterns and there are negative patterns example of a positive pattern Paul the apostle said to Timothy he said Timothy I have observed something he said Timothy looking at you the kind of faith the kind of the way you believe in God your faith Paul said I, I kept you aside and I said where is this coming from and he said I just realized that the faith that is in you i saw it also in your mother and i went beyond the mother and i saw the same faith in your grandmother oh this is a pattern a reoccurring situation now i see why you have faith in you now i see why your children will likely have faith also it was in your grandmother it was in your mother it is in you hey patterns exist can i can i talk to somebody again it was in your grandmother it was in your mother and it's in your in you right now and what that tells you is look behind you it's also going to be in your child if it's positive that's something to celebrate if it's negative that's something to say to enough You know, on a very jovial note, look at this carefully. My father found my wife, I found his wife in a church choir. I found my wife in a church choir. My sister was found in a church choir. Isn't that funny? Patterns do exist. It's important you sit down and study the pattern of your bloodline and study the pattern of your life someone is about to find where it's coming from and the reason you're about to find where it's coming from is so you can use your redemptive rights as a child of god the authority you have in christ to say enough this negative pattern will not continue in my life A pattern is a normative example or a code of behavior. A pattern is a repeated occurrence. Can we get down to the negative pattern now? There are things we call negative patterns. These are negative repeated occurrences of undesirable experiences. 
a negative pattern is a negative occurrences that is on this usually happens and leaves you in pain it leaves you emotionally financially materially physically it leaves you in pain after the pattern has been triggered someone knows what i'm talking about it's a negative repeated occurrence of events and it is usually unpleasant and undesirable you know thing that happens again and again it happens either annually yearly monthly weekly it happens just like that it happens sometimes seven years cycle a lady said to me she said reverend sam she said every seven years she says she has observed in her life she's over 50 now she says she has observed in every seven year cycle she suffers a major loss that makes her to lose everything she has gathered in seven years and then she starts all over it's a pattern it's a negative pattern someone needs to take a look right now because one of the reasons people don't begin to flourish and one of the reasons why people don't enjoy the flourishing seasons of their lives is because negative patterns happen and truncates it and the problem with negative patterns is that once they begin to operate once they begin to function in your life they leave you ultimately in a bad place name of a particular man and she will go straight to the man's house she said it is so bad that even if his wife is at home the moment she appears at the door and she said madam please can you excuse us she said the wife of the man will under influence leave the house until she is done with the husband of that woman and she said nobody has ever stopped her wherever she has gone to she said it's like an influence it happens over and over again i said i'm not gonna do it but then when the triggers come when the enablers show up i find myself back in the same situation i said i wouldn't taste it i said i wouldn't drink it i wouldn't do it but then all of a sudden there is this pattern there is always a trigger who comes that the trigger that leads me back to it there is an enabler that always calls me, visits me, meets me. And once the enabler comes or the trigger comes, I get myself back in it. Now you must understand the pattern. That the pattern includes a trigger. Identify the trigger. The pattern includes an enabler. The pattern includes an environment. Anytime I go to that environment, I end up doing what I said I'm not going to do. Eliminate the environment, cut off from the enabler, and make sure you disable the trigger. If you don't deal with the pattern, you will never stop the problem. You will never solve the problem. I see someone saying, the Lord, I destroy every negative pattern negative patterns are negative traits that are passed on from progenitors that are passed on from progenitors to their offspring negative traits fear where is the fear coming from where is this anger coming from where is this thing that always wants to make somebody to quit where is the quitting mentality from? Paul said, I saw that there was faith in your grandmother. I saw it in your mother and I see it in you. Can I ask you a question? Where is this particular pattern in your life? Where is it coming from? Trace it. Trace it to the source. Track it. I'm about to pray for you today. I'm about to pray in just a minute. In the name of Jesus. I think we're going to continue with this. Uh, by the grace of God next week. Listen to this.
in Matthew 22 25 to 27 this will shock you the Bible said now there were seven brothers seven brothers amongst us Matthew 22 25 now there were seven brothers amongst us the first one married and died please look up look up everybody look at the screen this is not pastor Sam talking to you about patterns this is the word of God show you what pattern is in, in New Testament now there were seven brothers amongst us the first one married and died and since he had no children he left his wife to his brother the same thing happened that's what we call pattern that's what we call pattern the same thing happening as you look back at where you come from is it not the same thing happening as you look at the person that occupied that office before you and the ones before is it not the same thing that is happening as you look at the women in your bloodline is it not the same thing that is happening as you look at when people get married in your family is it not the same thing look at what the bible says oh i love the word of god verse 26 the same thing happened to the second the same thing happened to the third brother that one too had no children and died the same thing happened right down to the seventh. Eparatos kelapazagadia. This nonsense must stop. To the seventh. Verse 27. Finally, the woman herself died. That woman should have been smart. When it happened with the first brother, the second brother, that woman should have been smart enough to run out of that bloodline. It came at the price of her life. It came at the price of her life. The same thing happened. I want to pray right now. Abraham, he lied under pressure to a king. Under the same pressure, Isaac lied to the king. Jacob became a liar. The same thing happened. Abraham having a, married a woman that was fair in complexion. Isaac married a woman that was fair in complexion. Jacob had two women and the one he was drawn to was the one that was fair in complexion. The same thing happened. Abraham's wife barren. Isaac's wife barren. Jacob's two wives barren. The same thing happened. David desired so many women he married so many women and also had concubines solomon also came and then had several wives and concubines then the son of solomon rehoboam also came and had several wives and concubines the same thing happened where is this thing coming from <laughs> where is this thing coming from someone has to break the pattern someone has to break the pattern the pattern of disfavor the same thing is happening to you daddy mommy nobody enjoyed favor they were always left with nobody helping no track record of people coming to help them and the pattern of disfavor is at work also in you you got to break it today. We're praying right now. Poor choices. Daddy all through his life just made very terrible choices. And that reduced how much that man should have been. Your father, your mother could have been much more. Your brothers could have been much more. But there is a problem in the bloodline. Wrong choices. Wrong decisions. It's a pattern in the bloodline someone needs to put an end to it financial hardship is a pattern in the bloodline same thing everybody in the family prototype is the same thing the lord is about to break it right now breakups singles always having breakups in this family 
It's a pattern in your life. It's a pattern in the family. Breakups and divorces. Someone is about to say this comes to an end today. Confusion and depression. Everybody in the family has this record of mental health issue. Confusion, depression, palpitations and all kinds of stuff. Emotional issue. Psychological issue. The same thing happened. Constant setbacks. Rise to a level and then have major setbacks. Same thing happened. Strange diseases and sicknesses. Same thing happened. Brother have the same. Sister has the same. The same disease mom had. The same disease dad had. Same thing happening. Premature death. Same thing happening. We want to pray now. Generational limitation same thing happening my time is gone i wish i could spend more time with you let's pray stretch your hands in my direction if you know you're dealing with sameness sameness when john the baptist was born his mother was there and the people in the community say let us let us just name him after his father because i think they're just going to be the same and the mother said never the same my son will not bear his father's name the spirit of sameness will not continue my son what happened to his father will not happen to him i take authority over sameness i take authority over sameness the rechabites the bible says they don't build houses generation after generation they said our father lived in tents we lived in tent our great grandfather lives in tent our children too will live in tent it's it's a nomadic spirit sameness live in rented apartments and never think about building your own takes the pride in the fact that i live in a five million worth rented apartment it's not yours there's something that makes you enjoy rented apartment and never makes you think about your own. There's something that makes you just think about expensive things. So you have lots of liabilities, cars, but no assets. Oh, let us pray. Our time is gone. Father, I pray for everyone watching right now dealing with a negative pattern and you've not been able to break it by yourself. Put your hands on the screen right now. In the name of Jesus, I join faith with you. You're watching me right now and you've been dealing with negative generational patterns, negative bloodline pattern, negative personal patterns. Things that happen and repeat themselves in your life and they are unwanted, undesired and they are unpleasant things that by the time they are done they leave you in pain emotionally physically financially materially spiritually these things happen and happen again and again and they leave you in a state of regret condemnation pain in debt place your hand on the screen in the name of jesus i break the pardon over you right now every negative pardon is broken by the power of the holy spirit the God who helped me to break those patterns in my life, I decree that that same God show up for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that the pattern is broken over your life right now. In Jesus the Christ, mighty and matchless name, we'll pray. Amen and amen. Glory be to God Almighty. Now, don't forget to stretch your hands as we pray over your goals and your prayer requests let us pray father i lift up those prayer requests and those goals before your before you i decree and declare you will answer your children grant them their heart's desires thank you because you are already answering people early in the year thank you because you're already opening doors already people are celebrating what you are doing in their lives we well, thank you for many more that will be sending in their testimonies to say already my number one goal has been accomplished my number one prayer request and number three has been answered lord we thank you for testimonies and and miracles happening we thank you for breakthroughs in jesus the christ mighty name we we'll pray amen and amen glory be to god almighty i like all of you are watching on youtube to click like so that others can get to watch it those of you on facebook get to reshare it so that others can get to watch it you must belong to groups 
those of you watching on facebook you belong to groups why don't you share them to your groups and be a blessing to someone else we'll break every negative pattern let's pray over our givens i know some of us want to like pastor sam thank you i feel joyful i feel grateful and i want to give generously just to appreciate what god is doing in my life everyone who is saying pastor sam i want to be a giver please go ahead right now i want to pray for you father in the name of jesus christ i bless every giver everyone releasing an offering of gratitude everyone giving a tithe a seed whatever it is your children believe in giving we ask for your blessing on their generosity in jesus mighty name amen and amen god bless you oh nalucha thank you you say reverend sam i am blessed god bless you Take advantage of the details you see on the screen to release your givings. If you're anywhere in the United States, you can use Cash App Zelle. You can use Direct Bank Transfers. It appears on the screen to release your givings right now. Anywhere else around the world, you can give. Somebody's already using Super Chats to give uh, in uh, from, the, from the European Union. Uh, you can do that on YouTube. You can use Super Chat. God bless you, Emma. I join faith with you and I pray that cycles are broken, patterns are destroyed. In Jesus' mighty name, I see you giving with Super Chat. Uh, the rest of us can take advantage of the details you see on the screen to release your giving. If you're in Australia, you can actually use WISE to give. If you're in Canada, you can also use WISE to give. You can do that right now. And if you are anywhere in the European Union countries, you can also use WISE to give. And if you find yourself in the United Kingdom, you can also use WISE to give. Everyone in America, you can also use WISE to give. And I want to remind you that uh, if you find yourself in any of the African countries like Zambia, you can use Momo to give. Momo is the best option. Similarly to those of you who are in Cameroon, you can use Momo to give. Oh, hallelujah. Patterns are broken in Jesus' name. Patterns, negative patterns are broken. In Jesus name. The same thing will not happen to you. The same negative thing that happened to them will not happen to you. I love you. Until I see you. This is Samuel saying keep on moving forward. There is nothing.